Hello, this is Brian Johnson with SEOPressFormula.com and I want to share with you my experience with building websites and uh, driving traffic and ultimately making money online and today what I want to talk about is why why WordPress why not just use static HTML pages why not uh, use tools like front page or Dreamweaver why not use other content management systems or CMS as they're oftentimes referred to such as Joomla or uh, Drupal or some of the other uh, flavors of content management systems out there. Why why WordPress? Now here's a, a book that I picked up and uh, pretty good. You know I love to read these kind of things and I picked up a lot of uh, how-to manuals and membership courses and uh, ebooks and whatnot. So I've been creating websites now for probably about 10 years. I actually created my very first websites on Tripod which is the free host. I used Front Page and Dreamweaver I got started with front page because it was more for the hobbyist. Uh, Dreamweaver was more for the professional, and I was definitely and still am today a hobbyist. Uh, and th the, those programs served me very well, and I made some very strong looking, nice looking, easy to navigate websites, and they made me a lot of money. However, probably around 2004, uh, I was uh, opened up to the world of WordPress and what really grabbed me right away was just how easy it is to add content to my website. Now I could be on vacation into, at a hotel, I could be at my brother's house or, or I could be at uh, an office complex, I could be anywhere that had an internet connect, connection and I could access my uh, domain name and website, I could log in and I could post and update content easily. Now not only that, it just was really a uh, time saver. Now back in the day when I worked with uh, front page, if I wanted to add a, a page to my website, I would have to uh, construct the page. I'd need to make sure I added all the proper elements in place to get good search engine rankings. You know, write a title tag, write a compelling meta description, make sure I had some keywords optimized in, uh, add the entire, entire body of the content, uh, and so on. Then I need to make sure that the other pages of my website had links pointing to that article. Then I had to pull up uh, my FTP software and upload the file to the server. I also needed to change any other files that had changed. So all the pages that were on my site that now have a new link to my new page, well those files had to get updated too. So adding just one or two articles a day was, was a bit time consuming. Now today I can log into my site, I can post content quickly and easily, and everything is taken care of, taken care of for me. Uh, the navigation is completely built in with WordPress. I don't have to worry about those other pages anymore. It's all done automatically. All of the stuff I talked about in the beginning with making sure I had a strong title tag and meta description, well I can configure those in the theme I use. So I can work and strive to create a theme that's uh, completely SEO friendly and SEO optimized and I can use that theme over and over again. When I do that I don't have to worry about if my pages are going to be optimized because the theme is optimized. This alone is a huge time saver. Now these are just a couple of the things that are so much uh, that are so nice about working with WordPress and when you're able to tap in and, and use the system it's really quite powerful. Now you can learn about WordPress through my course uh, SEOPressFormula.com. I've actually have over five hours of WordPress tutorial videos. Everything from installing WordPress manually to uh, the auto install to working with categories. Uh, what's the difference between pages and posts? What's the smartest way to add content to your website? And let me tell you, this is one that so many people miss. People just do not understand what's the best way to add content to their WordPress based site. And I'll give you some clues. It really has to do with duplicate content. Are you writing uh, a unique um, excerpt? And if you don't know what that means, well, swing over to the site, check out the course, sign up for the newsletter. SEO Press Formula will be launched in the fall. It's going to be dirt cheap. It's going to have a ton of resources like I mentioned. It's going to have two SEO optimized themes and over five hours of WordPress tutorial videos. Now if you're just getting started with site creation, 
WordPress is a great way to start. So thanks for watching. This is Brian Johnson, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.